Thanks to Lenovo for sponsoring today's video. What's going on guys, it's your average consumer. And this right here is probably the most interesting laptop you'll see all year. So check it out, you guys. This is the Lenovo Yoga Book 9i. And it's pretty mind blowing. Now, chances are, if you're a techie, you probably saw when this was first announced at last year's CES. Well, this year's CES is bringing it back, but with some new features that kind of change everything. Now, for my folks out there who have never seen this before, let's talk about it. Now, as you can see, it clearly has two screens where we would typically see a keyboard and trackpad we have a full on 13 inch OLED display here, 2.8K for each of the displays, 60 Hertz. Obviously they're going to be touchscreen and they look really good. Now you might be wondering, Judd, why does this have two screens? You know why. Why? More screens are better. This is why we have multiple displays when we have like a desktop setup. You can be your most productive self and this is the absolute best version I've seen available on a laptop. There are external displays that you can, you know, tack onto your laptop, but having something that is all within the same body and you can just take on the go without it being cumbersome, this is it. Now we're gonna talk about all of the different ways you can use this and the multiple setups that you can create. But one thing that I do wanna call out that I think is absolutely awesome is that it comes with everything that you see here. So it has the mouse, a pen, a Bluetooth keyboard that you can attach, this stand that you can put the yoga book on. So everything you need for all of the different setups that we're gonna talk about comes in the box, which is nice. Now taking a look around the device, we've got three Thunderbolt 4 ports, an electronic switch to turn off your camera, and your power button. Surprisingly, we have no headphone jack. You also have your Windows Hello cameras up top so you can easily jump in whenever you're using it. And the hinge is actually a Bowers & Wilkins speaker. And with this setup, it's nice because the audio comes directly towards you which is not something you typically get from laptops. And of course, you know your boy is a little bit biased. The title teal looks absolutely amazing. Now we were introduced to this as a multi-monitor laptop last year, but now I wanna talk about what's new and how it impacts how you use this thing in all the various ways you can. Now, of course, with something like this, this is like the main setup, right? Where you've got your monitor up top and at the bottom. And I feel like this is the way I'd wanna use it the most. Now for me personally, I like the idea of having this as my main screen and this being a little bit extra. So anything that I wanna refer to, like let's say if I'm writing a script down here, I can refer to what's up here. Maybe if I wanna pull up some like tech specs or something, I can get access to all of that information. It'll just help me write my script a little bit better. And if you wanna go nuts and make it feel like one really large display, you can have both monitors scrolling through entire websites or maybe have one really big Word doc open. The flexibility's there or maybe you're working on some kind of presentation. This setup is actually really nice to be able to get things like that done because you can grab things from like your file explorer. Like maybe you need to put your face like right in the center or something, maybe not that big. It just makes accessibility and using multiple windows just a much smoother experience overall. And what's also really cool about this laptop is you can put it into tent mode. And if you're working on a presentation like that, you can actually have someone on the other side of the laptop who can see the PowerPoint that you're working on so it can become more of a collaborative effort and you're not you know, shifting the laptop around like crazy. And while this is great for multitasking and getting some real work done, you might wanna just use it as a normal laptop. You might not wanna have it standing up all the time. And that's actually pretty easy to work around. So you can just take it, drop eight fingers down, boom, virtual keyboard, and you're in laptop mode. So when you want to just use it as a laptop, you have your keyboard, your full virtual keyboard, as well as your trackpad here. So you can go ahead and have the regular laptop experience. Now it might feel a little different at first because this is all glass. You might not necessarily feel like you're using a trackpad, but it does move pretty well. Scrolling is fine. And it even has haptics for your trackpad buttons. Yeah, right? At first I thought I was hitting the glass hard. Yeah. 
So that part at least feels legit. Now when it comes to typing on a virtual keyboard, listen, I'm not the biggest fan. I don't even like to text on my smartphone. I'm not crazy about virtual keyboard, uh, but let's see. Oh, okay, I'm not even gonna embarrass myself. When you've gotta get some real typing done, you really wanna sit down and get to work and you're not just typing maybe a quick URL, you can always opt for the included Bluetooth keyboard. Now, what's really cool about this is that you can place this down right on the screen Whoa. and it takes over. So it is a Bluetooth keyboard, but it does use magnets to keep it in place and the laptop will detect when it's here. So you can go ahead, just throw it down and then get to typing like a normal person. Isn't it? And what's cool is even if you don't care to have access to this trackpad, you can actually go ahead and slide the keyboard down and it'll take over the trackpad area and what it opens up are widgets. You can go ahead and drag down like your browser to be down at the bottom as well. So it's still a second display, but it defaults to those widgets. Only thing to remember though, is you cannot close the screen with that keyboard there. So just make sure you take it off first. Look, the magnets. Oh, it makes nice. it even easier to just like oh. take the keyboard around. It's, this is wild. Now you've seen it like this, but you can also prop it down like this as well. And this right here, true to its name, is the book mode. So in this mode, you can pretty much have a more vertical layout. Now I know for coders, they like vertical screens, but there are a couple of cool things that make this useful even for regular folks like us. Now, first thing that comes to mind for me is gonna be short form content. So if you wanna watch short form content, you've got like a giant screen to do that. Uh, I think that's pretty useful, uh, but you can also just have a ton of different apps open at the same time. Oh, reading manga, you are so right. Okay, so Dom just hit the nail on the head. Manga, that's, that's everything. Being able to read manga on here. But before we got sidetracked by the whole idea of being able to read manga on here, I was gonna say, you can have a bunch of different apps open at the same time. You can have like four, which makes sense. And they're all still decently sized. But yeah, Dom, reading manga on this, Definitely, definitely the way to go here. This is, that's nice. Now we haven't got to actually talk about what's powering this thing. Inside of here, you'll find Intel's new Core Ultra 7 processor. And that's like a brand new line of processors from Intel. And the idea here is to get better performance, better battery life, more power efficiency. And it has an MPU, which is a neural processing unit. If you follow the channel, we've been talking about this a little bit. This is where AI comes into the picture. So as you'd expect, 2024 is going to be a huge year for AI integration into laptops, smartphones, all the things. And this is no different with these new Intel processors. You're gonna be seeing a lot more AI capabilities. Lenovo has their creator zone, which is gonna be able to get you access to generative AI so you can create photos, text, all kinds of stuff by just asking AI to do it for you. And that's cool because on previous Intel laptops, you don't really get access to too many of those AI features. This is where it unlocks all of them. Uh, one thing though, you're not going to like, you can game on this a little bit, but not anything serious. Like you'll be able to go into like the Windows store and play Asphalt 8, that, those kind of things. and. It even has some pretty cool dual screen features for that kind of stuff, but it's not any serious gaming. This is more of a you know, productivity. You guys kind of saw the use cases. This is definitely more productivity driven so that you can, you know, get work done in new ways for longer periods of time. Surprisingly, the battery life here works out really well, even though you have these two large OLED displays. Now this can feel like a pretty big laptop depending on the orientation that you're using it in. But once it folds down and you put all of the accessories away, you see just how compact the entire thing is, which makes it really great for taking around and maybe even bringing to a coffee shop. The idea doesn't sound too crazy once you throw this in your backpack. All in all, this is a seriously cool laptop, but let me know what you guys think. Would a laptop like this completely change the way you work? I've been finding some really awesome use cases for it with what we do over here. So I'm kind of pumped about it, but let me know your thoughts. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Till then, it's your average consumer. Peace. Links down below, of course. You know what to do. Later.